Rust is pretty much a big fight for power. And the Rust food chain usually goes something like this. They are the top dogs, they play in groups, and they usually hold the power. And they don't exactly intend on giving it up. And then there's everybody else. We usually don't have the means to compete, or just don't care enough to fight the powers that be. And as a result, we are forced to stay down while they do whatever they want. But every once in a while, there's a low hanging fruit. A crack in the walls. Hell, sometimes you can just walk in and take it. But when you poke a sleeping bear, he isn't exactly happy about it. We spawned into the server and began to search for something to do. We noticed a shop was selling guns for pretty cheap. Semi-rifle for 200 sulfur? Dude, we gotta hit that up. I got a couple sulfur rocks and headed over. There are turrets everywhere over here. The clan who owned the shop was huge, and they had set up turrets spanning a large area. Oh, there's so many turrets, holy shit. Like, we could compound bow all of these and get, like, free guns and ammo. We were already annoyed with the clan, but later that day, we began getting roof camp. Uh, what the f- Are you shitting me? We are- How many squares? Get off your like, fucking three, roof, Like, three or dude. four squares? They're, like, out of the sure. render distance. That is so boring. That's really lame. So we set out to take down the clan in whatever way possible. There were some obstacles in our way, however. Chiefly, that we had nothing, but we didn't let that get us down. Oh. Turrets had a weakness that we would end up heavily exploiting. If you stood out of range, you could simply shoot them until they broke. With a bow, this would take a while, but it would allow us to get high tier guns relatively quickly. Okay, just grab that compound bow. I'm gonna bring a uh, 2K wood. We'll go hit a stone node. Okay, take this. Oh, I got binoculars. We can scope out the turret, which guns they have with it. You know what, that, out, that one on the roof has a bolty in it and it's exposed. We could use that one. Your capper. Help! I can even help you. Yeah. Oh, you scared the living ass out of me. One. Two. Three. We gotta count down. Fifty. We're halfway there. Hey. Come on, eighty ammo. It's not bad. Okay, let's go depot this. Okay, here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. We can push up close to the base, and we can shoot out that turret. Oh, and there goes Kevin. I'm just gonna go to the side, yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh my fuck. Yeah. Let's see, 70 ammo and a bolt. All right. Yeah, we can just spear the other one. Let me go depot the bolt. Spearing it would be so much faster. I forgot that there was another turret. If I'm gonna jump daisy, off the building. <laughs> if we create a daisy chain of slightly closer bodies, <laughs> 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 we can eventually play telephone with the loot. <laughs> Can't afford these hits. Oh, uh, there's link one in the daisy chain. <laughs> like that that thing's gone, gone, dude. That thing's so gone. This sucks. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I got it. Being able to spear the turrets would drastically speed up this process. Ooh. Oh. Is it broken? I got 80 bullets and I got 80. Yep. Yippee! We did it! 
Get the beans, and we fellas. got the bolty back. Bean grab, bean grab. Alright, so we have two bolties and a python from doing this. We didn't have to hurt a soul. Mm. Mm. That concluded the first day. Mm. The next day, I got on and went to do some investigating. I wanted to take out some more turrets. I put down some sleeping bags in the area because I knew there was a lot of death ahead of me. Although I was alone, I could use a horse to help with boots. And surprisingly, things were going pretty smoothly. It was time to get to work. I made a stash in my base for the guns I was collecting. Back to work. I was making profit, but I had my eyes on a bigger prize. I climbed up a power line to get a vantage point on some of the compounds. And that was when I noticed something. There were boxes, out in the open. I knew I had to get in there. This was going to be a more complicated task, but could end up being more lucrative. I had noticed a sizable crack in the compound walls earlier, so I went to check it out. No big deal. I could bow out the shotgun trap. Oh, yeah. My friend got on too. I would need the extra help. Get in there. I was getting closer. Okay. Not sure what I'm looking at here. What is this place? Oh. Another shotgun trap. No biggie. I might be able to get in through the wall. Okay, they have turrets inside too. I should have expected that. I bowed out one of the turrets from the outside. It was time to try again. I had to get past the shotgun trap. It's like through this bush somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Every time I step over there, I get shot. But uh, if we can get behind it, maybe we can just like run past it. I don't know. Oh, I went for it. Okay, I can break it. We were getting closer. Oh, the rock does one. Can you like throw the hatchet over here or something? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yippee! Wait, that's for this help? one. I'm helping. Egg. Hey. hey. Dude. <laughs> oh, wait, does it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the boxes are right there. Can you break Is this? Is that turret backwards? Yeah. Wait, how do we, backwards. Let me look up how to break. Okay, durability. It was, I'm pretty sure you can take these out with like rocks. That's what I did on the other one. Yeah, you just throw rocks for two minutes and it breaks. Here, craft a bunch of rocks. This was the final barricade. Here it is. Here it is. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna break this. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh. Look at the box. Dude, how are they leaving loot out like this? Kind of bad. Oh, oh. Oh my god, this one's full of shit too. Here, take a hazmat. 
It's like scanning. Yep, I made it past. Oh wow. Oh wow. There was a lot of loot in here. Okay. But we weren't done yet. Okay. Okay, not too bad. From inside, we could destroy the turret yep. easily. There we go. Baba boy. I think it was here. Yeah. I don't know how much loot they must have if they're just leaving shit out like this. Uh, more stuff, more stuff, more guns, whatever. It's a locked locker up here too. I bet that'll have something. Oh, god damn it. We headed out and made a base nearby to transfer all the loot. Put that MF door down. Yeah, yeah. transferred all the loot to our base. We had taken everything we could from this compound. Over our time on the server, we had amassed a few explosives, so we decided to blow into the base. We figured that if there was loot laying around outside, there must be a ton inside. The noise, however, was something the clan couldn't ignore. Check the shop. Yep, I was correct. Yep, yep, yep. We checked this drop box. Oh, two rocket launchers and 300 low grade. One large box with some bullshit in it. The loot wasn't great. <laughs> he just logged in. <laughs> this guy just logged in and spot on his bag. We're gonna get so ripped. We're gonna we're gonna tear you to shreds, kid. Oh, don't call really, me a really kid. Fucked up. I'm almost 14. Really fucked up, kiddo. I used all of my explosives but it wasn't enough to get any significant loot. My friend had died, and one of the clan members had blocked me in with a barricade. It was only a matter of time. So, I played the flute, and eventually, I died. Oh. At the time, we thought the fight was over. We were wrong. In the meantime, however, we enjoyed some relaxation. Hey, Logan. You got fuel for that? Oh, wow, you do have fuel. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dude, Logan's taking me on a fucking trip. I'm trusting Logan with a lot here. Logan, you gotta chill out. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play some music on my iPhone, but I don't have any earbuds, so uh, uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna... I'm gonna play the music out loud, but... Well, just don't play it too loud. I have right. work to do. If you wanna be my baby, hey, frog. go ahead. Yeah, what's up? Could you, uh, maybe turn down the music? Yeah, alright, sorry. If you want to be my... Hey, frog. Uh, yeah, what's up? Um, could you maybe turn down the music a little more? It's a little too loud? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, it was just, uh, I'm trying to focus, and it's, it's hard to focus with the music that loud. If you could just turn it down okay. a bit, that'd be cool. Yeah, man. I'll turn it, I'll turn it down. Hey, uh, Frog, can you, yeah. uh, do, why don't you just wait till we get home, and then you can get AirPods in, because, uh, not... Hey, Frog. Hey, Frog. Oh, what's up? Could you, uh... Just turn that off, dude. Seriously, I'm trying to do work. Hey, there's something in the airlock. Don't know where it came from, though. <laughs> this is a studio. You can't put your bed in the airlock. What if I'm sleeping? What if I'm sleeping? No, I understand you're sleeping, but... <laughs> Without 
Uh, hey man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get some good rest in there? You get some good sleep? While out roaming, we got roof camped once again by the clan. And you were playing as like a stickman assassin. And yet, oh my god, we are getting dangerously close to this L9, dude. Um, in fact, he's shooting at you, isn't he? I headed to the base of some friends and asked them if they had had any interactions with the clan. Uh, you guys know about... I, I appreciate it. You know about Rusty and Jack? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes dude. Yes, yes. Oh my god, rich. they roof camp us all day. Oh, really gonna fix I it. wasn't the only one the clan was annoying. So I headed over to see what I could gather of their tower. I was able to drain the turret from the front door. This could potentially be a good bait to get him off his roof. <laughs> watch this, watch this. Ooh. Oh. He wasn't too afraid to come out, so I asked my friend to bring over some shotguns. Hey loser! Nice roof camping! I think he came out, hold on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on. Dude, the TC's open! What? Look at the fucking TC. Um, I can shoot it out, I can shoot it out. Okay, I broke it. There was now no building privilege here. If we were quick, we could place a tool cupboard and take over the tower. My friend got some supplies and I got to it. I got it. We had left them powerless. Headshot him. Wait, we can just block his front door, I just realized. You ready to see this? <laughs> Watch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We blocked off the front of the tower, and they could no longer roof camp. <laughs> that tower was useless. Over the next couple days, we built a stronger base and hadn't interacted much with the clan. They found where we lived, though, and then we got roof camped more. Yo! What? You wanted to give me the water bucket? Oh. Yeah. They ended up just losing more to us, though. Etc. Alright. <laughs> so then the clan came asking for peace. Go, go, go. We weren't really interested, though. I called my friend in to help stunt the negotiations. Yeah. He was saying what we were all thinking. All right, Rusty. So I've heard word from Petty that that you're looking for a treaty of sorts, a peace treaty. Yeah, sure. All right. I mean, it doesn't make sense for us to go on this way, but well, know. I mean, I don't know what you think well, about it. Don't you guys get some sort of enjoyment out of the the feud? It's kind of like a little fun. Not really. <laughs> There was ultimately no agreement met. As expected, we logged in the next day to a death screen. They had raided us. The power was back into their hands. Order was restored. The powers that be could once again rule with an iron fist. If you're watching this within a few hours of upload, I should be live, so come over to the live stream and say hello. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot.